For one family especially, Christmas is taking on a whole new meaning. It started with one family's gift, which was given out of tragedy. But the Birchall family turned it into an example of the true meaning of Christmas. Valley News team's Trisha O'Connor has their story. October 11th of this year, a man came to this Moorhead Menards. He needed a few items to pick up for a home renovation project. He kissed his wife goodbye, as he always did. But just steps away from his car, the man collapsed. Fellow customers, store managers, police and paramedics rushed to help him but he was unresponsive. That would be the last time we'd be able to see him. That man was 61-year-old Russell Burchill. By all accounts, the man with the million-dollar smile was a devoted churchgoer, father, and husband. He always told me, you're the best wife I ever had. And I know darn well, I'm the only wife you've ever had. <laughs> Russell, a farmer, was married to Becky for 37 years. They had two children and a bundle of grandchildren. He always had a smile or a kind word for anybody. Russell was also an organ donor. I, I would have assumed 100% um, that he would have been because that's my dad. It was here at Innovis Hospital that Russell's wife, Becky, learned he was brain dead. He had broken nine out of ten brain stems. This is where our motor and sensory systems tell our body how to work. So while her children were driving from Minneapolis, Becky had to make a formidable decision, whether or not to grant her husband's wish to donate his organs. At that moment, you know, you're just like, you know, you still, you, you, want, you still want them back, you know, and you're just not thinking that, uh, you know, that it's going to get pretty intense. And but deep down, Becky knew and what to do. I knew that's what he wanted. And with the help of an organ donation counselor, she said yes. I sat there too. I'm going, you know, God, why? You know, but you know what? The, the, my, my next breath is, why not? Doctors moved quickly. They took Russell's skin, bone marrow, arteries and veins, eyes, heart, and liver. Oh, that is the most ultimate gift. One of his kidneys went to a 74-year-old grandfather who, like Russell, loves to farm. But the granddaughter wrote back to Life Sources that they were so thankful because he loves the farm so much. Despite the pain of losing the man they call Papa, Russell's family says they are at peace with their decision. And I know where he's at. I think that's, and that is the biggest comfort for me because I know where he's at and he's looking down. And so during this holiday season, Russell Burchill will live on in the life he gave to others and in the memories of his family. Trisha O'Connor, Valley News Live. The Birchills worked with the organ donation group Life Source from St. Paul. The family has asked to meet the recipients of Russell's organs and are waiting on a response. If you're interested in learning more about organ donation, go to our website, valleynewslive.com. Click on the hot.